As time goes by, your friend might start asking for a small fine for each day the book is overdue. Similarly, when you don't pay off your credit card balance, the bank charges you a fine or interest. Just like how that fine for the book grows every day it's overdue, the money you owe on your credit card grows every month that you don't pay it off. So if this is a habit of yours, you'd better start prioritizing paying your credit card debt as soon as possible. Number 5. Never Asking for a Raise you are paid what you ask, not what you're worth. Most people really make a habit of underselling themselves at every job they get. But with this mindset, you're not going to become wealthy anytime soon. That's because in a capitalist system, you need to know how to negotiate and evaluate yourself properly. Nobody is going to give you a raise or offer you more capital or a better price for the product and services. You are the one responsible for that, and if you're afraid to do so, it means you don't have enough confidence in your skills or the product that you're selling. But if you want to get ahead in life, then you'd better change this habit. And Alexer, on our app, we actually have a learning pack called Building Self-Confidence from the Ground Up, where we hold your hand step by step to understand what confidence is, how our confidence grows as a child, and how we can change course as as adults. If you haven't already, go to alux.com slash app and start evolving your life for the better today. Number 6. Not Investing Look, saving money will never make you rich. Investing, on the other hand, can and will if you know how to make money work for you and take advantage of compound interest. When you invest money, especially over a long period of time, you have the potential to earn interest on both the money you originally put in, which is called the principal, and the interest that you've previously earned. Think of it as your money making its own money. But if you just keep your cash in a standard checking or savings account where the interest rates are often low, your money doesn't work nearly as hard for you. In fact, you'll actually lose money by keeping it in your savings account. And that's because the inflation rate is, in 99% cases, higher than the interest rate any bank will offer you. Seriously, it's a scam, and besides that, banks are not actually the most safe place. For reference, you should see our video on the SVB collapse. Anyway, just to clarify, inflation is the rate at which the general level of prices for goods and services is rising, and subsequently, purchasing power is falling. So this means over time, the money that you have today will buy less in the future. By investing, you're seeking to grow your money at a rate that outpaces inflation, helping to ensure your money retains its purchasing power over time. But beware, okay, there are good and bad investments out there, so you'd better do your research before going all in on something. Investing in things that you don't understand is a bad idea. We'll talk about that later in the video. So if investing is not yet a habit for you, you'd better start learning everything about it right now. It's high time you let money work for you. And while we're still on the subject, there's one more type of inflation you should know about. Number 7. Ignoring Lifestyle Inflation so we've mentioned this in another video already, but in case you missed that one, here's what you need to know about this habit. Lifestyle inflation, also known as lifestyle creep, is a financial phenomenon that occurs when your standard of living improves as your disposable income rises. So it means that as you earn more, you start spending more, often on non-essential items or services. So for example, if you get a raise at work, you might move into a bigger house, start eating at fancier restaurants, or buy a more expensive car. Essentially, your expenses increase proportionally, or in some extreme cases, disproportionately with your income. So why is this a bad habit? Well, lifestyle inflation can prevent you from reaching your long-term financial goals and achieving financial security. If you continuously increase your spending as your income grows, you might not save enough or invest enough money in your future needs. It also means that you can easily become accustomed to a more expensive way of living, which can be hard to sustain if your income suddenly drops. 
Moreover, it makes it more challenging to deal with unexpected expenses or emergencies as you may not have set aside enough savings. So in essence, lifestyle inflation can lead to living paycheck to paycheck, even at a high income level. Number 8. Keeping Your Money Under The Mattress now listen here, there's a big difference between thinking money will make you rich and having some money in an emergency fund for unforeseen events.